hey guys queen of hearts here and welcome to my channel if you are new hey girl stay a while if you are a returning subscriber thank you guys so much for tuning back into another video today's video we're going to be talking about can i get a drum roll building your value as a woman i get so many dms and questions about how i'm so confident um what do i do to build my confidence self-esteem and i figured that the topic building yourself um building your value as a woman would go perfectly into what i personally have experienced in my 29 years of living um this video is in no way saying that i'm perfect but i am going to be honest with you guys and tell you guys what i've done and what i what i've worked on myself personally um to build my value as a woman so if this is something that you feel like you may be interested in keep on watching and let's get into the video Okay, so as stated, we are going to be talking about building your value as a woman and how I am still currently in the process and probably will forever be building my value as a woman. I do want to point out that your self-value and your worth has everything to do with you and nothing to do with those around you. Your mom, your dad, brother, sister, uncle, auntie, granddaddy, grandma, boyfriend, husband, they don't have a say in your value as a person. Only you can determine your value as a woman. So I just wanted to point that out because it's important that we know our value comes from within, not from the exterior, not from other opinions. It's something that we build and we grow in ourselves daily and that's what we will continue to do for the rest of our lives. So to start, I do want to say that no one is perfect. We are never going to be perfect. We all have our shortcomings and we all have things that um, make us unique. Some of us have very similar experiences and some of us have totally different experiences but it's up to us to find the value in who we are as a person so that we can bring our best selves to um, everyone else we have to do the work in ourselves first before we can ever you know want anyone to respect us appreciate us love us um, that's something that is done within the inside first so when i think of what what is a high value woman like what does she look like like when she enters a room, is she loud mouth or does she command attention with her confidence? Is she bold? Is she ambitious? When she speaks, like what is her conversation about? Does she speak with substance? Does she think before she speak? Like how mature is she? How, do, how does she handle situations? How does she handle things under pressure? When I think of a high value woman, I think that um she thinks of herself differently she thinks of herself as if she's elite because she is you won't find her trying to start arguments you won't find her being the loudest in the room because she doesn't need that type of attention a high value woman knows her worth and knows what she brings to the table and she's confident in who she is so she doesn't have to do all of those extra things she literally has everything to lose so you won't see her going back and forth on instagram you won't see her going back and forth on facebook um she'll put herself to a certain standard where you can touch her if you wanted to so this is who i am aspiring to be so i'm gonna be real honest with y'all my mouth used to be so reckless like and it's it's sad to look back and, and think about some of the stuff that I used to say some of the stuff that I used to put out um, it's crazy I didn't care what I put on the internet I didn't care how people would take what I said because I always had this thing where I was just like it's me like get over it like this is this is me either you gonna take it or leave it type thing and I found out that that wasn't always the best um, of course you want people to accept you as you and you don't want to be phony you want to be genuine as genuine as possible I didn't really pay attention to how it could affect me down the line in like relationships or future business endeavors like um, a friend told me like yo you need to chill Shay like do you not realize if a business wanted to work with you or a brand wanted to work with you 
and then they go on your on your Twitter like some of the stuff you say is not appropriate like you need to watch it and they told me that if what I post doesn't align with who I want to be in the next five years to it's like it's not worth posting that's not just with social media that's with the words that you speak to others people don't always remember what you say but they will always remember how you make them feel so it's very important to um, be kind be genuine be positive um, just be mindful of the things that you put out be considerate of other people's feelings um, people may not take things the way that you take them and we're all different and we have to learn and know that make sure that your daily routine even aligns with who you want to become um working out um i don't eat good all the time i cheat a lot of the time but just taking care of your body we all get one body um so it's best to just take care of the temple that god's given us now so that um we can be good to ourselves, for ourselves, for our family, and for our friends, and for other people who will one day meet us. So lastly, I believe that when you nurture yourself on the inside, subsequently your outer will follow. Um, make sure that you're continually and consistently feeding your spirit with positivity, affirmations, and just all around good, genuine things because it's all going to um, tie in with how you interact with people and how you make them feel the woman you aspire to be just think about what what does her heart look like is she patient is she kind to others is she kind to herself does she take care of herself how does she dress like what does she do for others to make them feel good what does she do for herself to make herself feel good is she loving is she respectful is she smart so all those things matter when you look at your value as a woman that's all for today's video i think it is pretty short but i just wanted to um just to talk to you guys uh woman to woman i put too much yeah probably but now i just wanted to talk to you guys um because it's something that i that's been on my heart um as I was saying, we are all a work in progress. Um, each day we're building, each day we're getting to know ourselves on a even higher and deeper level. In spending time with yourself, as I always like preach to people, you gotta spend time with yourself to know yourself um, and to really just dig deep and see um, the woman that you wanna become. What does she look like? write in the comments the woman you aspire to be what does she look like and start to show up as her every day i think that in soul searching and digging deep and realizing our value as women um, will begin to attract better um, and that's another thing the more you value yourself not just anybody can touch you not just anybody can be around you but that's all y'all i just wanted to share with you guys some of the things that i've been working on and hopefully what i said resonated with you to want to just take a step back and look at yourself to see what you're doing to um better yourself um for you number one and to also take a look at how you make people feel um because you always want to come off as genuine and authentic um but most importantly, you want to really know who you are as a person. So it's important to spend that time with yourself. Get to know yourself um, so that you can bring your best you to the world that is waiting to meet you and work with you and uh, be in relation with you. But that's all, guys. Uh, don't forget to write in the comments um, what the woman you aspire to be looks like. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a comment, like, subscribe, and give this video a thumbs up if you like. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.